Jamaica! You'll realize when you talk about reggae, I'm telling you there is a lot of list. When you talk about politics and when you talk about, you know, like uh, people advocating for peace, you know, like uh, if you look at Marcus Gave, if you look at, uh, <clears throat> you know, all these political influence that has been around the world. Bro, ladies and gentlemen, Jamaica has got an endless list of legends. People like Dudley Thompson and, you know, like what I'm still saying, we as Africans, we still know, we still don't know. We still don't know anything. You see the list that we know, the legends that we think we know. Jamaica has got an endless list of legends. And these now make me want to learn more, want to know more, man. And we are, we are being shocked by this country because it's like there is a lot of things that is still hidden. So I've made an observation that the, end, the list of the legends is still big. Another one is about the Rastafarian culture. This thing has shocked me. You know, like if you're from Africa, most of us, we always think that Rastafar, uh, the, the Rastafarian culture like is a main culture. And I've come to realize that the Rastafarian culture <clears throat> is around like 1% to 2%. Imagine. 1% to 2%. But now I wonder, how have they managed to spread this culture and this influence in the whole world. You know, with us, like in Africa, we used to think that, you know, like let's say 80% of Jamaicans are Rastafarians. No. The Rastafarian culture is just a small percentage. But now, how have they managed to spread this culture around the world? That's another observation that I've learned. Then, these, these people have got influence and it's, it's, it's very powerful because if you look at the percentage, the percentage of the Rastafarian culture is not that big, like it's 1% to 2%. Now, how could a population of 1% to 2% like influence the whole world, go to all the corners of the world? The Rastafarian culture can be felt and that, I think it should be one of the wonders of the world, you know, one of the wonders of the world. Welcome, my people. Welcome back to our channel, our home and our family meeting point. This channel is our family. I mean, uh, our family meeting point. Now, today, I'm going to give you some of the conclusions or some of the things that uh, I've concluded I've concluded personally as uh, an African who has been following the African YouTubers and who have been recently learning a lot about Jamaicans and what we are seeing. So I've got a list, like 11 things that I've, uh, I've observed. And I'm going to give you my observation about Jamaicans. And you, we can discuss at the comment section whether I'm right or wrong. But these are my personal uh, observation since uh, I started learning about Jamaica and also following the African YouTubers who have, uh, who have been bringing us and showing, showcasing how Jamaica is. Number one, <clears throat> my first observation. I've come to observe that we know we have seen nothing about Jamaica. We've seen nothing. Now, <laughs> what do I mean by we've seen nothing? You see, the way, uh, the way we are happy or the way I'm personally happy, like I talk about Ocho Rios, I talk about Portland, I talk about waterfalls. Bro, my sister, most of the Jamaicans have told me, you've seen nothing. In other words, I've been told that whatever we've seen that is making us happy is just a drop in the ocean just a drop just just a little bit of jamaica at the comment section most of the jamaicans that i'm talking to they have told me that whatever we've been shown it is just an introduction they have told me that jamaica has more has more that we have still not seen and i'm intrigued i'm shocked what is it that we've not seen jamaicans have told me it's okay i have seen a lot of things, the waterfalls, but we have not yet experienced the beauty of Jamaica. So to our African YouTubers, you need to bring us more. Because whatever you've brought us, that we've fallen in love with, I've been told 
that is just a, not even a fraction, not even a quarter. It is just a drop. So I'm still wondering. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. And that makes me want to know more about Jamaica. If whatever we've seen that is making us happy and falling in love, what about if you're going to be taken inside and shown the real beauty <clears throat> of Jamaica? Number two, I've come to observe that uh, Jamaica has got like an endless list of legends. Endless list of legends. Most of the time, right has different legends so they write different names for different people who are legends so for the legends of the street first street here bob marley barney whaler peter tosh one love people get ready and then they give you a little history of the town and what it is known for and of course they never miss to appreciate the african countries look at the whole african map amazing 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 i've learned that Jamaicans really love Africans. It's amazing, man. It amazes me how much they love and support Africans. Because at times we'll just be walking and we'll be seeing African flag, Af sorry, African map. African has been drawn, different countries being appreciated. Amazing, man. Let's keep going. Another thing I've come to observe is the Pato language. You know, the Pato language, there is a way, whenever Pato is spoken, like, it can never go unnoticed. You know, there is something about Patwa. There is some power about Patwa. Like, I'll give you uh, a very quick explanation. There is this young boy. He lives in the United States. He's called Demage. I've been following this boy for a very long time. And I'm going to give you a story of this boy, man. I just like how courageous and influential this boy is. Demage. Now, there is an interview that Demage... The, the young Jamaican trainer, he's being interviewed and his, uh, his American accent is mixed with the Patwa. And immediately, you can see the interviewer, he's like, you speak Patwa? I don't know if you guys are getting me. Like, so what about Patwa? And that shows you that there is something about Patwa. And even the, the, the interviewer, that young, I mean, that white lady, she has practiced some Patwa, you know? She has practiced some patwa. And I've come to observe that is something about patwa. Like whenever we just speak it, there is a way, there is a way. It's either people want to share with or people will be like, hey, bro, my sister, could you please give us more of patwa? So I've come to make another observation about the patwa language. Another thing <clears throat> I've realized that Jamaicans, like they get along easily with the visitors. You've watched uh, Dimwango, Shonarwa, African Tigress, like in the streets of, of Jamaica, you know? You'll just see, like, they meet somebody today. Oh, are you from Africa? How is, like, within two seconds, people have clicked. Africa! Welcome. Wagwan. Welcome to Yard. What's your name? My name is Shaggy. Shaggy? Paul. Paul? Yeah. Are you a musician? Paul. Let me, let me hear. Huh? Le let me hear something. Let me hear. Let me hear. Let's go. Welcome to Trench Town. Nobody come like come be no clown. Hey, come hey. Come with the English pound. Come hold me for, so that I can go and also dance for him. Yeah, yeah. hold just like that. Welcome That's to right. Trench Town. Yeah. When you come, I just nobody be no clown. Yeah. Yeah. When you come, you just bring the English pound. Yeah. Yeah. You call the girl them wrong. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Hey, come. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. One more. One more. You know. One more. Yeah. One more. Trench Town Rock. Mm -hmm. Don't watch that. Trench Town Rock. Big fish and big spot. Trench Town Rock. Rip what you saw. Trench Town Rock. rock. Hey, you know. Trench Town Rock. Trench Town City Skull. Hey. Hey. hey, I have got to be there. Hey. Jam Rock City Skull. Hey. I have got to Africa. be there. Jam Rock City Skull. Hey. I have got to be there. Jam Rock City Skull. And that is an uh, it's a compliment uh, whereby we should we should we should compliment Jamaicans. You know, you can go to a country and you meet the locals and they are like, hey, how are you? Good, good. You know, it's over. But in Jamaica, they move along with the visitors. Like they get they get along easily, and that is an observation I've made, and it shows me of their strong character and their strong nature 
to you know to interact with visitors especially uh africans you will see a jamaica meeting an african and this is an observation that i've made especially from the african youtubers for the first time somebody's talking to them and they, uh, these people are showing them the country the history of jamaica and like within two minutes there is an interaction <laughs> you can think that uh these are people who have known each other for long and that is another observation another thing uh Jamaicans are concerned about the visitor's experience. I don't know if you guys have seen that. They're concerned. Like you'd see maybe Dimwango, Shonarwa, African Tigress. You meet somebody, maybe a Jamaican, maybe in the plane and you're like, uh, I was in Jamaica. Oh, how was it? You know, how was the experience there? I don't, know if you, I don't know if you guys have seen that. When you meet a Jamaican or in the comment section, you'll realize that Jamaicans, they always want to know how especially the Africans, because I'm, I'm speaking from the African perspective, especially our African uh, people, the African YouTubers, when they go there, or they meet in uh, Jamaica, maybe in diaspora, you'll be, they'll be like, how was, your, how was your experience? And even within Jamaica, whenever you introduce yourself as an African, you can see a Jamaican asking you, you know, how is it? Are you enjoying? They're like, are you enjoying my country? Are you, are you, are you? And guys, <laughs> to me that's sweet, you know, like it's a concern and somebody would like to know how your, your, your experience is going uh, within his country. It shows me another side of Jamaicans that uh, we've never known for long. Like, you know, these are people who just want to know your experience, how, how you're feeling, how you're vibing with the country. Are, are you getting along with the country? Are you enjoying the country? And I like that. Another thing is about the Jamaican, the Jamaicans in diaspora. I would like to know how they teach their kids about Jamaica. I'm going back to Dimaje. When Dimaje is being interviewed, and you can see this boy in the United States, he introduces his, himself as, as a Jamaican. Even his name is a young Jamaican trainer. And you can see the pride when he's asked and he's saying, my father is from, from the Caribbean, Jamaica. <laughs> Uh, so to the uh, the Jamaican diaspora, I think there is a way they are bringing their kids in such a way they're instilling the Jamaican discipline and they, they're teaching them about their origin. And you can see, I'm talking from, the, uh, this is just an observation. You can see this young man, this young boy, he has got like pride. So that is also something I'm observing about the Jamaican diaspora. And that is good, man. I appreciate you guys. You know, it's good to... Like teach your kids to know where they're from and that pride, man. Guys, if you've never followed this boy, there's a boy called the Young Jamaican Trainer. My man, <laughs> you'll fall in love with that boy. The way he speaks about Jamaica, the way he talks Patwa, and his Patwa is so, is so sweet, you know. And that shows you how Jamaicans in diaspora teach their children. And that is a very good observation I've made. Another one is about the African history. Guys, I'm not sugarcoating anything. In, on my comment section, the way Africans talk about Africa, they have got a deep knowledge of Africa. Like, they have got a deep knowledge of, of us as a people than the knowledge we have about them. For real. In fact, there are many things in the comment section. If you go through, you'll see a Jamaican telling you about Kenya. Now, there is a video of Wodemaya and uh, a young girl and the father. Now, if you saw the way the father was talking about Africa. And what am I asked him? And he said, no, no, I've just read them. It's so deep. Now, to shock you, this little girl, this young girl, she was 12. And you can see the way she's talking about Africa. Like, I'm not lying. You know, sometimes I speak and people are like, uh, what are you saying? These are facts. I mean, observation. And you can see them. The way this young girl is talking about Africa, you can see they have a deep history of Africa. And the understanding of Africa is so deep, you know, and I like it. <laughs> Another observation that I've, make, I've made is about the deep knowledge about their history as a people. Jamaicans have got uh, a deep history, a deep history. Sometimes in my comment section, somebody writes a paragraph, man, a paragraph. And you're like, and he, he explains for you step by step, step by step. How they originated from Nigeria, Ghana, you know, uh, Central Republic, uh, Republic of Africa, how they came, you know, how, uh, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, 
that observation I've made about Jamaicans. I love it. You know, and I think uh, they're also inspired by Marcus Garvey. When Marcus Garvey says that, uh, I mean, it's good to know your history, your history. And I like that about Jamaicans, having a deep knowledge about their history. That's just an observation. And I've said, these are my personal observations. I'm not trying to just uh, say that, <coughs> sorry, that all oh, these are my facts. No, these are just observations that I've made. Another thing is about the pride they have about their country. There is this video that Sean Arwa is in Ocho Rios. There's a, a young Jamaican guy. I'll, I'll put that video. When Sean is, is, uh, is interviewing him, the first thing this guy says is like, show the people my beautiful country. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. Show the people, you know, like, Sean is taking a video of, of him, but the first thing, could you please show them around? I like that pride. Show the people my beautiful country. And uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's an observation that I've made. And uh, there is pride Jamaicans have about their country. And then I've come also to realize and make an observation that, ladies and gentlemen, Jamaica has got a deep history. You know, we've, I've not even talked about the Tainos, the Arawaks, you know, the Morons, you know, Quinani, you know. When they left Ghana, they left Nigeria, they left Central Republic of, of, of you know, of uh, Africa, even Congo, you know, when they came, you know, colonized by Sp Spain, then uh, England, uh, Port Royal, you know, the piracy, you know, Jamaica has got a deep history, how strategic it is in the Caribbean. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are just my observation. And I was saying I've learned a lot through observation. You know, there's what you call observation learning. You can learn, and especially like children, they do a lot of that, you know, observation learning. And we are falling in love with this country. And those of you who are shocked, and they're like, hey, bro, you're not too much. You're going to be shocked. <laughs> you're going to be shocked because you're going to be too much. You know, one thing I've come to realize, once an African learns or gets a slight history about Jamaica, you tend to dig deeper. You tend to dig deeper. You know, you tend to dig deeper. And another observation I've realized, if you dig deeper, especially about the celebrities, the sprinters in America, in Canada, you come to notice there is always either the fathers are Jamaican, either the, the mothers are Jamaican, and there is a lot I'm observing. There is a lot I'm observing. So ladies and gentlemen, that was just an observation that uh, I've made and observations that I'm still making about Jamaica. And we are learning. We are learning as a people. And it's a good experience. Uh, I would like to be honest with you that my experience, getting to know much about Jamaica, it has taken me to another level and another world, man. I'm getting to learn a lot. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I've come to the end of the session. And always remember, if this is your first time, this is a page whereby, as I said earlier, we mainly spread love. And we are talking about the positive side. You know, so, some people will be like, hey, bro, you're sugarcoating. I'm sugarcoating. When Cristiano Ronaldo is talking about Saudi Arabia, you guys don't attack him. Or when Messi is talking about Saudi Arabia, are they sugarcoating? But as if we try to sugarcoat Jamaica, yeah, you're saying it's wrong. And what are we sugarcoating, by the way? What are we sugarcoating? If we say it has got beautiful beaches, are we sugarcoating? If we say Jamaica has got a deep history, if we say it is the land of sprinters, if we say, like, can I tell you something? Do you know that Jamaica is the most strategic country in the Caribbean? Maybe you guys will say I'm, I'm sugarcoating. Maybe you'll say I'm sugarcoating. And very soon I'll be telling you how Jamaica is going to be the next powerhouse. Powerhouse, logistic hub powerhouse in the Caribbean. And I'll be giving you facts. So ladies and gentlemen, one love my people and respect. We Africans in the African continent, we are falling in love. And my brothers in the Caribbean, I love you. My brothers in the uh, United States, Canada, and all other parts of the world. For now, bye-bye. Tomorrow, same place, same time. I love you all.